This is lesson 40, VHDL example 23. And in this example, we'll design the same 3 to 8 decoder we did in lesson 39, except that instead of using logic equations, we'll use a VHDL for loop. Let's see how we can do that. Here's the truth table for our 3 to 8 decoder. Now notice that for each Y, Y is 1 only when the input is the corresponding index. So for example, if A2, A1, A0 is a 3, then Y sub 3 is 1. So we can say for I in 0 to 7 loop, go through all of the outputs Y, if I is equal to A, that is if say 3 is equal to the input 3, then yi equals 1, else yi equals 0. So this for loop should produce this 3 to 8 decoder. Now the only problem we're going to run into is that i is an integer going through this loop, this is the index i, and we want to check to see if it's equal to a, but a is the input which is standard logic vector, so the only problem we're just going to have to convert the standard logic vector to an integer. So let's see how to do that. Here's the entity. A is 2 down to 0. Y is 7 down to 0, like we had before. So in the process, we have process A, the input A. We'll define a variable J to be an integer. And then we'll set J equal to we have to say convert integer a, that is we have to use the function convert integer to convert the standard logic vector, 0 to 7, those three bits, to the integer j, 0 to 7. Then in this for loop we can just say for i in 0 to 7 loop, if i equals j, really means if i is equal to a, you see, then yi gets 1, else it gets 0. So this should produce a 3 to 8 decoder. We can check it by simulating it. Here's the simulation, and you'll notice that it's identical to the one we had in lesson 39 when we used the logic equations. So the input goes from 0 to 7, and only one of the corresponding inputs is 1.